Hey, this is Mr. Black, Operational Extras. I'm going to go um, and show some of these. This one I've uh, showed before. It's a attempt at a Kuska noggin type cup. And I used this on the last trip to California. Got a deer antler tip. You could slide this up under your belt and uh, pull it down and lock it off in that hole if needed. Anyways, this was good on that trip. It's not even really finished, but uh, I just wanted to show a close-up of that. I got a question on this. So, um, handles weird and long, but it worked. And uh, I believe it's red oak. I, f I finally uh, narrowed it down to that. Um, now this this is uh, some stuff I started before I left to California. Um, this was a burl. It's still got some of the bark on it. And um, it's kind of half traditional, half modern tools I used. I used coal burning to, to hollow it out. And that worked real well. But... I burnt the uh, the part that I was going to use for the little the little handle, so I'm going to either have to cut a dovetail in here and put a handle, or just leave it as it is. Um, the other thing, I've ran into this so many times with with the oak burls that this is where the branch was, and there's cracks that go all the way through the back. This one seems pretty good. Um, I'm going to sand out all this and uh, hopefully finish that up. And just make a little, little uh, knickknack holder, I guess. But um, this one's pretty funny. This you can see it's a uh, um, oak burl. Well, you can't really see that because it's it's not the best. But the thing is, it had a wormhole that went all the way from the inside um, to right there. So when I did a quick little water test, all the water ran out. So I didn't want to chuck it because I had a lot of work into it. So, um, since I just uh, I had the the privilege to ride along on a trip to Disneyland with my brother and his wife, and uh, growing up I went there a lot and was really influenced on that place. I think a lot on some of my art. So, here's art right here. Um, again, it was a coal burnt. Coal burnt attempt at a Kuska or um, noggin type dipper cup thingy, and uh, I didn't want to just chuck it. So, what I did, influenced by the Jungle Cruise, I made some sort of a little shrunken monkey head guy. Um, and, anyways, it, it came out pretty cool. I'm still going to do some aging and stuff. This is just Sharpie. And um, the old uh, brown snow seal to give it that aged look. But it's actually coming out kind of cool. Um, since I burnt the edge, I just, when, once I realized it wasn't holding water, I just kind of left it with coals. And it uh, burnt the edge pretty good. And I didn't have enough room, but I'm going to do some, I'm going to put some bone, bone teeth or just some weird jagged I don't know I might I don't know who knows well that's the uh, this the uh, skull that's African art right there art he was an explorer and uh, anyways <laughs> again highly influenced by the jungle cruise and the Pirates of the Caribbean I might cross cross a couple of uh, knives under him and just put them on a plaque but there's that so thinking about making a nice trading post in the in the backyard and just decorate it all jungle cruise style so anyways uh today i was bored because um i'm just hanging out here at the house and i got a wild hair so i got out the drill drilled some holes this was a block kind of came to a point here it's the same same wood as i made this so the thing with this was a little small, so I widened this out a little bit. But here's how I did it. Just drilled some holes, and then uh, got a chisel, and then chiseled chiseled the holes down um, and roughed it out. 
I didn't take any pictures of the making of it because I just wanted to move along and get it done. And uh, it's based on those uh, synthetic ones as far as the handle, um, which I think those things are awesome. But I don't see one in the near future. So I gave it a go with wood and made one similar to that shape. Um, I might drill a hole. I might not. I might just tie, tie some stuff around here and then put a toggle kind of like this but anyways uh, drilled the holes chipped it out with a chisel I don't have a, a crook knife or a crooked knife so um, I just used this old chisel I have uh, started get I got some rough sandpaper and roughed out the hole first then I took out my I got an old belt sander it's just a flat flat top kind of a belt sander and then just mainly shaped it um, shaped it with a belt sander so there's not a lot of knife work in this um, it's mostly uh, chisel and chisel and sandpaper and the sander the, the belt sander so all the shaping was done with uh, pretty heavy grit on the sander but it came out pretty good I like it um, I'm gonna keep working on it hollowing it out I put some grape seed oil on it just to um, see what the color is going to look like. I'm not really sure how I'm going to finish it or treat the inside. Um, usually I just let the coffee coffee oil kind of settle in there. And all I really drink out of it is coffee. Um, every once in a while I have water when I have these. But anyways, thought it was a cool project for the day. I think it was about four hours of tinkering with this on and off. Again, it needs to be finished. But I just wanted to show that to you. My uh, my attempt at a uh, Kuska noggin thingy. So there's that. There's art, and there's the the dish, and here's my old one. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I will see you down the trail. Mr. Black, Operational Extras out.